Poems Every Child Should Know, edited by Mary E. Burt. Section 2. Read for LibriVox.org by Kara Schallenberg. This section contains the following poems. The Arrow and the Song. The Baby. Let Dogs Delight to Bark and Bite. Little Things. He Prayeth Best. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Pippa. And the days of the month. Part one. The budding moment. The arrow and the song. The arrow and the song by Longfellow, 1807 to 1882, is placed first in this volume out of respect to a little girl of six years who used to love to recite it to me. She knew many poems, but this was her favorite. I shot an arrow into the air, it fell to earth I know not where, for so swiftly it flew the sight could not follow it in its flight. I breathed a song into the air, it fell to earth I know not where, for who has sight so keen and strong that it can follow the flight of song? Long, long afterward in an oak I found the arrow still unbroke, and the song from beginning to end I found again in the heart of a friend. Henry W. Longfellow The Baby I found The Baby in Stedman's Anthology. It is placed in this volume by permission of the poet, Jeremiah Eames Rankin, of Cleveland, born 1828, because it captured the heart of a ten-year-old boy whose fancy was greatly moved by the two beautiful lines— her face is like an angel's face. I'm glad she has no wings. Nay, shoon to hide her tiny tays, nay, stockin on her feet, her supple ankles white as snaw, or early blossoms sweet, her simple dress of sprinkled pink, her double dimpled chin, her puckered lips and balmy mouth, with nay and tooth within, her ain say like her mither's ain, twa gentle liquid things. Her face is like an angel's face. We're glad she has no wings. Jeremiah Eames Rankin Let Dogs Delight to Bark and Bite Let Dogs Delight to Bark and Bite by Isaac Watts, 1674 to 1748, and Little Drops of Water by Ebenezer Cobham Brewer, 1810 to 1897, are poems that the world cannot outgrow. Once in the mind, they fasten. They were not born to die. Let dogs delight to bark and bite, for God hath made them so. Let bears and lions growl and fight, for tis their nature too. But children, you should never let such angry passions rise. Your little hands were never made to tear each other's eyes. Isaac Watts Little Things Little drops of water, little grains of sand, make the mighty ocean and the pleasant land. Thus the little minutes, humble though they be, make the mighty ages of eternity. Ebenezer Cobham Brewer He Prayeth Best These two stanzas, the very heart of that great poem, The Ancient Mariner, by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, 1772 to 1834, sum up the lesson of this masterpiece. Insensibility is a crime. Farewell, farewell, but this I tell to thee, thou wedding guest. He prayeth well who loveth well, both man and bird and beast. He prayeth best who loveth best all things, both great and small. For the dear God who loveth us, he made and loveth all. Samuel T. Coleridge Twinkle, twinkle, little star Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. When the glorious sun is set, when the grass with dew is wet, then you show your little light, twinkle, twinkle, all the night. In the dark blue sky you keep, and often through my curtains peep, for you never shut your eye till the sun is in the sky. As your bright and tiny spark guides the traveller in the dark, 
though I know not what you are, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Pippa. Springs at the Morn from Pippa Passes by Robert Browning, 1812 to 1889, has become a very popular stanza with little folks. All's right with the world is a cheerful motto for the nursery and schoolroom. The year's at the spring, the day's in the morn, morning's at seven, the hillside's dew pearled, the lark's on the wing, the snail's on the thorn, God's in his heaven, all's right with the world. Robert Browning The Days of the Month The Days of the Month is a useful bit of doggerel that we need all through life. It is anonymous. Thirty days hath September, April, June, and November. February has twenty-eight alone. All the rest have thirty-one, excepting leap year. That's the time when February's days are twenty-nine. Old Song End of section 2 Read by Kara Schallenberg www.kray.org On October 8, 2006 In Oceanside, California